The Delta State swim teams welcomed in the spring semester with a two-day trip up Highway 61 to the Tunica Invitational. The teams came off a week-long training trip in Florida, and it paid off, taking the overall victory as well as having career days from Rebecca Napier-Jameson, Stephanie Gonzalez, and William Isles. Napier-Jameson, a freshman from South Africa, set a lifetime personal best in the 1,000 free. Uh, well, I was really happy with all my swims today because they're all uh, the best times for the season. And I was really happy with the 1,000 because it was hurting pretty bad. And I think I did pretty well, so I'm happy with it. Because the training trip was really hard and we all put in a lot of effort. And I think it's really positive that I've come down. And I think it's really good for in the future that perhaps I could go even faster. For junior Stephanie Gonzalez, the tunica meet was a culmination of a lot of hard work paying off as she dropped a few lifetime best times. Oh, I've had such a big struggle in college because I got injured my senior year in high school and I had to stop swimming for about 10 months and then I came straight here and I started all over. So this year and you know last year was a huge struggle but this year I'm like finally getting back into it thanks to you know coach Daniel helping out and pushing me and giving me goals and helping me achieve them so I mean I'm pretty glad trying to push past it. On the men's side, sophomore William Isles had a career weekend to lead the statesman. He picked up two individual wins in the meet, as well as being a part of two wins in the relay events. Uh, my individual was my best in-season swim for the 50, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I kind of wish I had my teammate Yvonne beside me, but we'll do it again some other time. Coach Daniel Murray changed things up for the Tunica Invitational, giving some swimmers chances to participate in different events than normal. It's nice to get out and see what you can do in other events. And some of us prefer to do other strokes, but we just happen to be better at other events. But this, this meet is kind of a chance for us to get out there and see what we can do. There is a competitiveness right now among the team members that's really fueling the run. I think it's really good because everyone's always pushing each other and we're always getting better. And I think it's positive that every now and then everyone does their best because we always like everyone's coming down so it's really good. We really feed off each other in practice and in races it's amplified even more so we're really pushing each other every chance we get. When you train you just they push you like they, when, I'm, when I'm training with Wolfgang and Ben I like straining myself to be able to go faster when I feel like I can't so when I'm swimming with them and they push me it helps and so today I mean this year and all the years I've been swimming, it just, they, it helps. I mean, this is Ben's first year and I mean, and even him being the way he is, it helps me. When, him, when he swims well, it helps me swim well. So the attitude catches. At the same time, there is a competitive vibe between the team members. There's also a strong bond forming, a family bond. Oh, it's so much fun to see that. I love it. That's my favorite thing to see. So I hope we see it more and more of these meets. And I mean, it's, it's come a long way and I really like it. Well, last year, it, it was hard for us. We weren't really a family, but coming into it this year, we're so close. We're all brothers and sisters, and doing things like jumping off the board and our cheers, and even this training trip we went on, we're all really close, and it's pushing us. I mean, it's always a good thing, because you're never by yourself. Like, swimming, you swim it individually, because you have your individual races, but then you have your team to fall back on, so if anything ever goes wrong, or if anything goes good, you always have your team there to, you know, pump you up, get you excited, and it's just always a fun situation, and, you know, you have some extremely funny people on this team. <laughs> the Statesman and Lady Statesman will look to continue the run that has carried them through the break. The team will host Watchtel Baptist in a dual meet this Saturday, looking for a little revenge from their meet earlier this season in Arkadelphia. Those meets are going to be real good for us. We're so excited for them. We lost OBU by one point last time and it's going to be real exciting.